right, hi, my name is Nick Mill, and my event is Cliff Bar's King Buttermilk. Um, so what is King Buttermilk? Uh, it's a mountain bike race in Aspen, Colorado, and it consists of one lap up and down Buttermilk Mountain. What's up? I'm sorry, I was supposed to be the bike the first time, so I guess you want me to leave and then come back. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Um, when does this event take place? It's on July 22nd, which is a Saturday, and it takes place at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, racers are advised to be there a little early, around 7.45, um, to get ankle GPSs for the race and to hear pre-race announcements. Um, there is an entry fee of $55 per rider. There's no you know, early, early registration discount or anything. It's $55 flat rate. There are no age or categories in this race. And there would be one start with all of the racers lined up on this at the same time. Um, the race consists of one lap up and down the mountain, but inside the race there are many prize categories. What I mean by this is to go along with the overall winner, there is the fastest climb, which is the first person or the fastest person to go from the bottom to the top, fastest descent, fa fastest rider to go from the top to the bottom. Um, there will be a jump located just before the finish line. And if you wish to hit it, there's a longest jump category and a best wipeout category, which, you know, it's, that's only determined on the jump because you could fall anywhere in the course and no one will see it. So there will be a volunteer watching and that's where the best wipeout will be. Um, the race, the starting line will be the finish line after completing one lap of the race. So you will end where you begin. Um, there will be three, location where, three locations where pictures will be taken on the course at the beginning, the top, and the finish. There will be one water station at the top of the mountain, which is the halfway mark. And there will be medics and an ambulance at the bottom of the race ready to respond to you know, any calls, any injuries. Um, all competitors must wear a helmet. This is stated in the waivers. And all competitors must wear an ankle GPS that monitors the location of each rider. And this makes sure that competitors do not cheat, and it's also great to locate an injured rider this way. Um, and after the race, there'll be music, awards, beverages, and food. Um, so when you're done, you know that's when the fun starts. Um, I put this, you know, just directions from Aspen. So if you go towards Highway or get on Highway 82, headed towards Down Valley, um, you'll come across an intersection with Owl Creek Road. Take a left there, and your next immediate left, and that'll be the parking lot to uh, the Buttermilk Grounds. Some reasons for having this event at Buttermilk. Um, first, it's the smallest of the three mountains in Aspen, which um, allows for more competitors, you know, more broad range of riders to compete in my event. Um, it has two large parking lots, which can hold a couple hundred cars. It has a great amount of space for registration, uh, food trucks, sponsored tents, and spectators. And the road course, the, the bike course, the race, is wide and easy to navigate with proper barricades and tape marked out so there won't be any confusions um, for riders, you know, which way do I go, it'd be properly uh, marked out. And lastly, you know, the Winter X Games has been here at Buttermilk and it's gained many, uh, it's gained a lot of like fame and recognition of the past number of years and also has spectacular views of the valley, which can be viewed at all times on the course. Here's my operational map. Um, shows the roads, the bus stop, the parking, the restroom, um, ambulance, uh, medics, emergency lane, food trucks, sponsorship tents, DJ booth, um, where the last photographer is gonna be, the registration, Here's the spectator map, um, shows where the race is going to be, what, you know, where the riders are going to ride. Um, the jump right before the finish line will be right here. The, the green arrows represent, you know, where you're going to begin going up the face. The red represents where you're coming back down. Um, right here from the beginning to the first intersection is 
where the only race, you know, you only, how do I say this? Um, two ways. You will, yeah, you, there'll be two ways here. So you'll ride this part twice when you're going up and coming down. And it won't be a problem with intersection of riders because when the last person um, takes off, he'll be way, he'll be way behind you know, the first place rider coming down, so there won't be any intersections, problem with one rider coming up and one rider coming down. Um, water station at the halfway mark on, on the top of the mountain. There'll be restrooms, top and bottom. Uh, so for registration, you can register online at kingbuttermilk.com. You can register outside Ute Mountaineer uh, the day before, July 21st, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, or you can get there early and register the day of the event. And like I said, there's a $55 entry fee. Um, all the profits of this event will be going towards the AVSC, which is the Aspen Valley Ski and Snowboard Club. It's a nonprofit organization founded in 1937, and their mission is to, bri to provide all youth in the Rolling Fork Valley the opportunity to excel as athletes and as people through winter sports. And the ABSC envisions a thriving, healthy society nurtured by a balance between the individual, the community, and the natural environment. Um, to get into some sponsorship packages, first, or let me say this, um, all the sponsorship packages will include the logo on the entrance banner when entering the race day grounds. Logo will be on all flyers, posters promoting this race. Logo will be on the race website and the logo will be on the t-shirts given to the participants um, after the race in the, in the racer's goodie bag. Also, all will be provided one 10 by 10 foot tent um, at the base of Buttermilk. So what I'll do is I'll just read the category exclusive things, you know, the sponsorship will get. So for the event sponsor, I already kind of picked out that Cliff Bar will be my event sponsor. So they'll have naming rights, um, their logo will be on the start finish line banner, which no other sponsor will have. That's category exclusive. And the logo will be on the podium uh, at the award ceremony, again, category exclusive. And this sponsor will be having a 20 by 20 foot tent, so significantly larger than the other sponsors. And some, you know, Cliff Bar says no, some other sponsors um, could be Red Bull, Monster, Rockstar, uh, Kind Bar, Camelback, Oakley, um, The bib sponsor logo will be on, located on all race day bibs. This is the only category exclusive thing here. Um, the rest I already said. Some potential sponsors, Aspen Brewing Company, Aspen Snowmass, Ute Mountaineer, Coors Light, and Paradise Bakery. This will be going for $3,500. Sorry, I forgot. This event sponsor will be $8,000. Fastest climb sponsor. Um, There'll be no category exclusive thing here. And the potential sponsors, Trolley Designs, Giant, Trek, Aspen Snowmass, Specialized, Smith, Fuel Energy, Big Rap, The Hub Bike Shop, and Fox. And this is priced at $2,000. Again, fastest ascent, no category exclusive things. And the same sponsors, priced at $2,000, the same as the uh, climb sponsor. The 10 sponsors, um, so with a price of $650, um, you know, your company or your business or um, you name it can come in there with a 10 by 10 foot tent and with a table and a couple of chairs and you can have your products, you know, aligned on the table, you get to interact with the spectators or the racers on the race day grounds and, or you could have promotional item, items. And for my event, we're uh, hoping to have 10 tent sponsors. The longest jump sponsor, the only category exclusive thing here will be there will be a logo on the back of the jump. So as the rider you know, takes off the jump, there'll be a photographer there taking your photo along with the, lo the logo um, located in the back of the jump. And the best wipeout sponsor uh, will be priced at $1,000. No category exclusive things here. 
prizes, overall winner will receive $500 along with a $250 gold crown. This is like iconic to the, to the race. Many riders think that this is more important than the cash, you know, to be crowned the winner of King Buttermilk. You also get obviously bragging rights. Uh, fastest climb, $300 in cash. Fastest descent, $250. Longest jump, $150. And best wipeout will receive a POC helmet. Um, talk a little bit about human resources. Underneath me, which I'm the project manager, there'll be the event coordinator working with the volunteer and equipment coordinator. Um, there'll be the promotions coordinator working with the director of advertising, um, the MC of the event, uh, the director of finance working with the director of sponsorship. Um, so all the staff at the event um, will be volunteers. They will not be getting paid. Um, but they will be getting a raised t-shirt, a swag bag, and they'll, they'll be getting work experience. Again, this event's supposed to be fun. You know, it's going to a good organization, so I don't think there'll be a problem here. Um, let's take a look a little bit about the competition of my event. There'll be two races during you know this time period. It'll be the Power of the Four Mountain Bike Race and the Enduro World Series. The Power of the Four Mountain Bike Race takes place August 8th, roughly around the same time, late summer. But it takes place over four mountains, so this is not just a one mountain thing. This is Buttermilk, Highlands, Snowmass, and Aspen Mountain. This is a long race, 36 miles, 9,000 vertical feet. Um, so this is not for beginner or intermediate riders. This is advanced race only. And there's a $110 entry fee, which is significantly higher than mine. Um, the Enduro World Series is a two-day professional event. It's July 30th and 31st, again, around the same time. But this is a downhill race only, so you will not be going uphill. You'll be taking um, a lift up to the top of the mountain or transportation, and it's only a downhill race. And there's gonna be six stages and over 15,000 vertical feet. Again, an advanced race. No intermediate or beginners will be probably entering this race. And there's a $200 entry fee, which is a lot pricier than mine. So my target market will be, you know, ages from 20 to 45. I'm going to target the avid cyclists who ride, you know, rides 30 miles or more daily, and I'm going to target the intermediate riders who, you know, just got into mountain biking and they want their first real challenge at, at a race. And, but this is not for first-time beginners. So if they look like this with their helmets on backwards and stuff, they're probably not going to want to be entering this race. For marketing, um, my flyers will be going to coffee shops, local lunch hot spots, hiking and mountain biking trail bulletins. So before you go, you know, and take off into a mountain bike, ride your mountain bike. There's normally a trail bulletin there that explains how long the loop is and whatnot. We'll have our uh, flyers located right there, and we'll be targeting bike shops. Um, not only bike shops in Aspen, but in Vail and the surrounding towns, Glenwood, Basalt. You know, we want to make want to make sure that this the word gets out in this event. Um, we'll also be having an ad the, in the newspaper, the Aspen Times newspaper, which can be viewed online as well. There'll be a Facebook ad, an Instagram account at King Buttermilk, and it'll also be featured on the Lift, which is a morning show at on Aspen AB2. We'll be talking about this new up and coming event in Aspen. So here's my magazine ad, Facebook ad, event flyer with all the logos or sponsorship logos on there, event banner letterhead, um, participant release form, volunteer release form, and our, my budget. Um, so the total operating income came out to $36,000. Um, Total operating expenses came out to 14,340, which leaves us at a profit of 21,660. So I don't know if you want me to go into minor detail on every one, but you can ask me some questions later about that. Thank you. All right, so.